into the relationship. And the only thing that can bring new life into a relationship where there's been some sort of violation is some sort of repentance, restitution, and restoration to restore the breach between man and God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, so therefore, what happened? Since the life is in the blood, now, what God did is that he demanded there be a bloody sacrifice. And so therefore in Leviticus chapters 1 through 7, if we understand anything about the process of animal sacrifice, it was a very bloody process. Right. And they were told to splash the blood here and splash the blood there. And, and they were told to burn the animal. And they were told that they had a ritualistic barbecue of the animal. They not only burned the animal, they, they cooked the, the animal in an open fire. And they not only cooked the animal, but they cooked the animal's stomach and entrails and, and arteries and uh, all the, the kidneys and all this kind of stuff. Even the fat of the animal, even the head of the animal was burned because of the fact that what God did is that this was, and this was considered to be a sweet sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay? Because God had a right to demand this process of atonement. And so therefore the blood was poured all over the place. And God ordered the sacrifice, which meant that there was something man had to give up in replacement for and restitution for breaking God's law. That was the whole point of them doing animal sacrifices in the first place. First off, the, 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 the life of the body is in the blood. And so therefore to restore this dead relationship that you have done, you have made dead not because of your sin. You now have to give up something living. Uh, and so therefore to bring new life into the relationship, not only do you have to repent, but you have to bring restitution. So therefore something has to die in order for the new life to be restored yeah. in the relationship. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So the relationship can only begin to be restored through repentance. Hmm. Since now Christ is the final and only completely perfect sacrifice, we no longer are called to sacrifice animals. Now, go with me to Romans 3. Romans 3, 21 through 25. Y'all go with me. Romans 3, 21 through 25. It says... But now, the righteousness of God, apart from the law, is revealed, being witnesses by the law and the prophets. Verse 22. Even the righteousness of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, into all and on all who believe, there is no difference. Verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Whom God, verse 25, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. So what God does is that he, because of the blood, he passes over. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. It's because of the blood. Yeah. Look, there's a song that said, I'm saved, I'm washed, I'm cleansed, and I'm set apart because of the blood. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Ah, one day he, he one day I plunge beneath that flood. Yeah. Hmm. Jesus. You, and uh, my guilty stains were washed when my soul was washed by that cleansing blood. Hallelujah. Huh. I am born again, free yeah. of sin because of the blood, my God. Now, now we are called to live a life of brokenness. Now, okay, since we broke the law, uh, since we lived a life where we told God basically, since I lived, let me talk about me, since I lived a life in my sin where I found my nose at God, I'm now called to live a life of brokenness. Uh, Psalm 51 uh, and 17 says, God decides uh, 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 to, to bring himself near to a broken spirit and a contrite heart. See, therefore, our will must be broken. Our mind must be changed and molded and shaped into the image of what God says. So, therefore, true repentance is a result of true brokenness. Uh, because of the fact that you realize and I realize uh, that we violated God. Therefore, true repentance is a matter of the heart, not a matter
matter of the mouth. We have to let the 